A piano. Well, can you play the piano? I can. So what is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. C.K. Dexter Haven. Oh, C.K. Dexter Haven! Hey, what's up? You are. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I wish I had a million dollars. Hot dog! You're so beautiful. And sometimes you're so beautiful, it just gags me. You know, for the last six months, you've done everything you could to antagonize me, and now you have nerve enough... You haven't been very nice to me. Doggone it, C.K. Dexter Haven. Neither I'm gonna sock you or you're gonna sock me. Shall we toss a coin? No. Doggone All right, mother old building and loan pal. I think I'll go out and find a girl and do a little passionate necking. That takes care of the formalities. What do you mean by doing a thing like that? Jane! Where's my throat now? What I can do is fighting to get out. I don't. I can't hold it any longer. Here it goes. You could have had a bath too. I've already had a bath. Oh, Miss Kelly, I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to my friend. Mr. Dowd, I take a bath every morning just before I go on duty. Food five dollars. But that's not enough. It's enough for me. I'm no capitalist. Imagine you dictating what I should wear. Well, for heaven's sake, I don't care what you wear. If you want to look like a pony in the circus, it's all right. Well, that's all right. I just wanted to find out whether you still had faces. I told you, I'm your guardian angel. I know everything about you. Well, you look about like the kind of an angel I'd get. Excuse me. Hmm? Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Goodbye. My regards to you and anybody else you happen to run into. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, where do you, uh, Mr. Sycamore? Have you a family tree? Um, yes. Why? Why? My dear sir, don't you know that a sycamore is a tree? <laughs> in those first few weeks, there were moments in the stockroom when you could have swept me off my feet. I'm getting psychologically mixed up. In this world, Elwood, you must be... She always called me Elwood. In this world, Elwood, you must be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. Well, for years I was smart. I recommend pleasant. Liberty is too precious a thing to be buried in books, Mr. Saunders. Men should hold it up in front of them every single day of their lives and say, I'm free. I can. Oh, Shaky. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. They're just my mother and father. They'll understand. Well, then why are you shaking? Hmm? Sympathetic action. Oh, now, would you mind saying that again rather slowly? I came here to ask you to marry me. Why? Because you have no money. Money! Zuzu! Zuzu, my little ginger snap. How do you feel? Bye. I've got to say to you right now. Either I get a raise and a junior partnership. Yeah, either I get a raise and a junior partnership. Or you can accept my resignation. Or you can accept my resignation effective immediately. Gee, honey, I'm sorry you hurt. No, no, no. But you've just lost yourself a catcher. Never had a catcher quit me before. You never had a catcher before who was going to have a baby. What? Well, you, you women are suckers for sentimentality, aren't you? I guess that's how I got you. Oh, why do you hate me so? I don't hate you. Oh, I suppose you love me. Why should I? What have you done to make me love you? Well, I don't want you to love me. Well, I've wrestled with reality for 35 years, Doctor, and I'm happy to state I finally won out over it. Give up, sir. I will not you. I guess this is just another lost cause, Mr. Payne. Oh, 
all you people don't know about lost causes. Someday over the rainbow, way up high. What is this, Connor? Now, nah, easy, old man. Christmas present from a very dear friend of mine. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. Out of boy, Clarence.